Hmm, looks like I'm gonna have to come up with a new name. Actually, I don't even know what to do. Let's see if that works. Um, oh cool, that actually com came up. I'm now Master Verlis Vi because everything else is taken apparently. Also, like when the showdown thing, like yeah, breached a couple months ago, my original account was Verlis Vi was taken and then I changed the password. Now I can't remember it because I don't care about showdown that much. So let's go and talk about my team right here. So I'm gonna be running this. I don't even know what to expect. I was just thinking, I'm gonna run every Ultra Beast and then have a sweeper and then have a tank and maybe it's going to go pretty well. So some of them are the sets that you've already seen in my videos. The only one that I think is much different is the Buzzwool that I'm going for 363 is 363 right here with like the impish nature or something weird because what this will do is it will cause the attack to boost but it'll give me the most defensive tankiness. So we have defense tank, special uh, tank that has regenerator, and then just shenanigans so we're gonna see if this ends up working let's go and start up a battle right now so I'm only doing I'm doing non pokebank so I'm just doing like a uh, Alolan native right now I'm gonna see if this is a uh, this works so yeah let's get started with these six generation we got Mimikyu, Salazzle, Decidueye people are running that okay so what do we lead uh does Toxapex just go good uh, I was like, I want to go Guzzlord, but I think the Mimikyu is too scary right there. Can I just leave Gengar and, like, wreck their team is the question. They actually might want to do something with this guy right here, too. Hmm. Do we go Celesteela? Do we just go Celesteela and wreck? I'm, I'm going to go Celesteela and wreck. Oh, yeah. We're going to go Celesteela and wreck. There's the Autotomize for free right there. And I just like kicking on timer, so that way we can have some nice paced battles. Oh, the... No, that's not how it works. That is not how it works. Oh, uh, he might have a Focus Sash then, if he wants to play that way. But if I Heavy Slam, let's just kill everything. <laughs> oh, he's trying to try and get me down. Oh, no Focus Sash. All right, there we go. There's the Attack Beast Boost. And already Rage Quit. Is this really how we're going to play? Okay, then. Um, So, yeah, then I'm just going to go and see what we can do now. So same thing. Ooh, got icy, icy snowiness in the back. Yo, 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 let's do it. Oh, uh, oh, I still get a good matchup into this. Still get a good matchup. So we'll autonomize and we'll see what he wants to do. Even though I can't hit him with the earthquake and the heavy slam probably isn't going to do anything. I just took it. Oh, the Raichu. Raichu just has Surge Surfer, no levitate. I didn't see an air balloon or anything. So that means I can just earthquake him and he dies, right? He got the fake out. Good for him. Oh, he, oh, he does have the slow... Okay, so he's sashed. What is he going to do then? Like, Thunderbolt. That's why Silas Deal is just ridiculous. Um, I'm going to throw out the Heavy Slam. He might go into Crobat. He might try to do something about that. All right, so there's the Heavy Slam down. Um, Now I, I do lots of damage to the rest of the team, but Slowbro walls me pretty well. All right. Don't I think the Crobat's still pretty pretty ridiculous? So he's probably going to want to like try to scald. Do I keep Celesteela up though? I have the plus one on the attack. Heavy Slam versus Earthquake. Um, Heavy Slam is 120 base power into Stab. So that means Earthquake is still doing slightly more damage. The Slowbro is probably like full defensive tank or something like. Oh, it's full defensive tank. Okay, how do we find a way around it? Yeah. All right. Celesteela is down. I guess we go Kartana and. Cartano works just fine on that Leaf Blade. So, Leaf Blade. Let's go. Let's see. Uh, it's it's going to be good damage, but it's not going to be good enough damage is what I'm feeling. So, what does he have? He's probably got Heat Wave, and he's just going to wreck me on that Heat Wave, and I don't really have too many other options for him either. So, what do we take? Uh, is this the time for Toxapex? I think we actually get Toxapex safely in. And there's not really much to worry about on this team with this, right? We're just going to see... Oh, Acrobatics. Ugh. That was way more damage than I wanted to see. Okay, so I can stockpile. Citrus Berry heals me. And then I recover. Yeah, alright. So, no item YOLO on this Crobat right here. And we in. We got our in right now, so let's just keep... Let's recover. Oh, he's going to keep on that acrobatics. All right, all right. So I'm, I'm still gaining. I'm still gaining. Let's go for another stockpile, and then we can recover, and then maybe we can take him out. Maybe we can take him out. Ninetales. What is Ninetales going to do to me? I don't think Ninetales can do anything to me, right? 
I'm gonna recover poison jab? Liquidation? What do I take? Um Liquidation just more damage. Poison jab has that poison effect. But I'm running the regenerator. I we're at plus two stockpile. I think we can just see Oh. Oh! That did nothing! I am just Okay, so Ninetales obviously makes sense that it gets the freeze drive. So I'm just gonna recover it then. Unless freeze dry crits, I'm gonna be absolutely fine. And no crit, good. If creep, I think if freeze dry crits me at like full, I'm I'm in a really bad position. So we'll tank up what he does. We go back up to full. Yes. Oh, uh, I think he's, he has to be fishing for a crit then. That's like his only option right now. Um, I got the defense drop, so it's still a two shot. Poison jab. Maybe we can just like stack some shenanigans. Oh, he got the freeze. Oh, he got the freeze. All right, all right. Hail stopped. Kind of bad. Oh, he's switching. Come on, oh. frozen solid. Not good. Not good. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta unfreeze into recovery. Oh, he's still, he's doing nothing to me though. All oh, these hacks. Come on. Oh, he's still fishing. You know, I thought I came out of it. All right, all right. That low damage roll, please. Oh my goodness. No, that is some hacks. That is some hacks right there. And Gengar doesn't have Levitate anymore. God. Buzzle, sure. Uh, I, I gave it my all. And that was the crit. Oh. Oh. Why? Why is this so filthy? Dragon Claw. Nah, nah. You don't know my Buzz Swole. You don't know my Buzz Swole. So what can he bring? And he forfeited. Nice. All right. All right. We're off to a... An absolutely fantastic start here um, for the for this new generation. I'm gonna keep going. All right, let's play till we lose. Let's play till we lose then. So 2-0 and Tapu team. Hmm. Tapu team. Tapu team. Has uh, I'm trying to think as what we do here. Is Guzzlord safe? Is Guzzlord safe into that? I think Guzzlord might be safe into that. Okay. Okay. So we're gonna see what can happen right now. Stockpiles. Tapu Koko. Is he trying to scare me though? Cause I thought Tapu Koko didn't get any good fairy coverage. Uh, stockpile. Dazzling Gleam, okay, okay. So he can do that. All right, all right. So he's got the Dazzling Gleam. I thought Tapu was a physical attacker. So it looks like that tech is the way to go. Um, how do I respond to this now? Now he's got Dazzling Gleam. He's got Electric Terrain. I'm wondering if he's actually like. I don't think he'd be choice. Would he? We could go Toxapex and just like Toxapex is so bad. It's so bad into this. So I'm gonna stockpile and see. Maybe he was choice. Yeah. So it looks like my team just gets wrecked by Tapus. Oh. Oh. Ho -ho. That's what happens when you when you play bold like that. But then, ah oh, man. Yeah, so I have no idea what Tapu Koko runs. Um, Raichu's gonna try something. Yeah? Yeah, that was a Z move. All right. Ooh. Ooh, though. Oh, I got my stats. As long as I don't get paralyzed this turn. Can we come out of it? Can we come out of this? Like, that was his Z move. That was his big go for the game. Now my Z move is, like, I have Normalium Z on the um, Guzzlord to try to get the most out of it. But if I don't get paralyzed, I'm at plus two. Will his psychic be? It shouldn't be enough. Ooh. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it, guys. Come on. Come on. No Haxorino. Thunderbolt. Ah, oh, never mind. I thought, I, yeah. I was, why, why was I thinking? Well, Psychic and Thunderbolt are pretty much in the same. Dang. I thought I would still have that. Um, Raichu. So I guess I go into Gengar and I just pressure everything with Shadow Ball. That, that's why he has Incineroar, so he's just gonna go Incineroar. I could've used that to maybe try to switch out for the Incineroar, but I don't really have anything. Yeah. Yeah, because, oh. Or he just outspeeds me because of the terrain. Wait, terrain would, wasn't up. It, he, oh, he still got, okay. I do not know anything about these new Pokemon. So, 350 speed before items, wow. Yeah. Wait, was that a speed tight end? Does he have 110? Okay. Okay. 
That was unlucky. That was unlucky right there. I guess we go into Kartana and then... Well, he's just gonna outspeed me. Uh, Smart Strike... No, we want the Night Slash. Yeah, Night Slash. Ooh, Focus Mist, though! Hey, I got frozen for like a million turns. Wait, no, I was like in the last game, so I guess that doesn't carry over. There's the Beast Boost. Is that enough to like wipe out his team? Tapu Bulu. That's Grass. And he's just... Okay, he's Grass Fairy. So I mean Smart Strike. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay. Oh, he's got all Tapus! Yeah, we could just roll him on the Kartana! I, I was trying to figure out, like, where we would win or what could go wrong, but I think we just win now. Like, no matter what he brings in, we just win. Because he's got Incineroar, we hit that with the Sacred Sword, and then we hit all of his Tapus with the uh, Smart Strike, and we hit Tapu Finny with the Grassy- Oh my goodness! My team actually works! I didn't even put any thought or planning into this. I was just like, I want to run these guys. Yeah, and then Leaf Blade. I'm like, if he has a Focus Sash, that might screw me over. But I'd imagine they'd bring in his Focus Sash by now. Oh, yo, Kartana's broken! Yes! Wow. Wow. Okay, so let's go and battle again. Oh, man, can we go 4-0? That'd be pretty cool. Okay, so what do we got? What do we got? Um, No fairies. Do we just leave Guzzlord? Ah, uh, like, he'll crush me, though. This thing will go and ruin my day. Like, I'm pretty sure that thing has absurd stats right there. And then we can see Gengar does okay. He's, he's, he's being bold on that Silvalli, though. We don't get to see what typing Silvalli it is, unless he's running normal something. Ugh. Uh, let's just see what Celesteel is. Let's see what Sea Dog does. Sea Dog into the Marowak. Probably not the best thing that could have happened. Uh, yeah, that was actually, like, the worst lead I could have gotten. So that means he wants to go for a fire attack. Um, he's... I don't know Marowak. Is it more physical or not? Okay. And, yeah, Toxapex seems pretty good. Or we go Gengar. Gengar should be able to, like, outspeed it. Yeah, so, Gengar. I'm expecting fire type attack. I'll survive. I'm going in the Gengar. Flare Blitz. Ooh, maybe not. Okay, so he... Okay. So that's how the Marowak likes to play. Gotcha. 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 Toxapex. <laughs> Let's win. Um, hmm. Stockpile. Yeah. So with that fire typing, making my life a little hard on that uh, Celesteela lead. But I think Celesteela still crushes like the rest of his team, so we might find something there. I'm guessing Dragon Dance Wish Cash to maybe like counterpick something that's popular in the meta that I'm not aware of. He might actually be going for my Toxapex with that Wish Cash. But if I get plus one, he switches. I liquidate. He goes for plus one. I liquidate again. And then he murders me. Okay, that's fair. Um, but then that's when we go into Buzz Swole. So we go into the Buzz Swole. And we have Regenerator and Toxapex. So there we go. That's, that's I'm, I'm understanding things pretty well. Understanding things pretty well right now. Still don't know what half the Pokemon do. Like, I haven't done my guides. I haven't even considered being competitive yet because I've been doing all the other things like breeding and money making and festival plaza. I've been I've been screwing around with the fun stuff in the game before I get competitive right now. And it's... Uh, this guy doesn't want to make any moves. So that's pretty cool too. But I think we still win. I think our team matchup is good enough. But the <laughs> these Ultra Beasts are just so... Oh. Oh. He's still got Bone Meringue. Crap. <laughs> okay. Okay, okay, that's that's terrible for me. That's very that's like worst case scenario. Okay, um, I don't know what I do. Uh, Guzzlord, cause it, dang, that still does damage though. So I guess we'll be safe. We can stockpile then stockpile then Z move stockpile, cause then we should be able to survive enough. Will o wisp. I can live with that. I can live with that. So, Z-move stockpile. Oh. Dang. Okay. Hmm. Um, I guess we could stockpile again, and then we'll just Dark Pulse. He's not doing anything. What does Shadow Bone do? Like, what does Shadow Bone do then? 
Um, let's go attack. Let's go dark pulse. And he's he's trying to get that damage on me. But see, this is this is why I have faith in the Guzzlord. Oh, and it's still not enough. Okay. Um. Rest. I'm gonna rest now, and hopefully it doesn't murder me. Yeah. Okay. What is Shadow Bone? Is that just like good stab that this thing can run? I have no idea. So Guzzlord is planning on sitting in here for the rest of his life. That's fine by me. I don't know why he hasn't gone into Crabominable though. Like, does he just want to give up the Marowak and not let me get anything else out of it? I think I'm at plus two though. So I'll survive super effective hits from Crabominable pretty well. He's into Sil Valley. Is that Fairy Sil Valley? Oh, gross. Why didn't he do that earlier? Um, I guess I just toxic. Oh, he's got, he's got attack. He's got boosting. Oh, and then he's going to go for the multi-attack. And then, and then we'll be okay. So let's try, oh, he's going to keep going for it. Just going to keep going for it. Hmm. Well, toxic's adding up. So if he wants to, yeah, like, th there we go. We, we die. We die now. Um, that means I just bring in Kartana and we snowball it, is my thought. Because nothing else is going to want to go into that. So it's Fairy, so that means we can Smart Strike. Looking at the rest of his team... Smart Strike just kind of works. Or... Hmm, Merrick gets wrecked. Does he want to go into Witch Cash on that? Because if I Leaf Blade, Leaf Blade's still enough to take out Sylvalli, and it also does a lot to everything he has. I think he just has to accept that his Sylvalli is gone. Alright, the last battle giving me a run for my money right now. Okay, so we don't get to see Sylvalli in the select screen. I guess that just works in the actual Pokemon game. And then we have Kartana backup sweep. We have other things. The Guzzlord, Guzzlord is unfortunately letting me down, and Gengar hasn't really done much of anything either. So, things to consider right there. I just thought the Gengar would be a little more consistent, but... It doesn't seem like it's... It's it's not responding to what I need it to respond to. So, I have to think about the... Uh, I'll have to think about the team that way. And there we go. There's a Leaf Blade. Boom. That's, just, that's enough. That's all I needed it to do was be enough. And now, what is he bringing? Crabominable. But... Why? Oh, Sacred Sword. Okay, so he's got that... So Smart Strike Stab inside, that's going to be super effective. And it doesn't check accuracy. Um, evasion, oh, Sacred Sword doesn't check accuracy either. But Star Smart Strike's a stab. So that's what I want, right? Yeah. Sashed. He would be. And now he's going to fighting me. Ice Hammer. Ice me! Um, I'm at 10% health. So that means... Hmm. Eh. <laughs> that just means eh. We we have that happen. So Sash Crabominable, is that like all that it's good for? I wish it did slightly less damage. Like the the life orb, you kinda needed to get the most out of the Kartana, but I didn't get it back. So then we'll have we'll still have three really strong Pokemon against this team. And what's his uh Marowak at? His Marowak's still fairly low. Hmm. Do I bring in that's, I think we lose that Marowak. Like, I never thought I'd get swept by Marowak, but apparently that thing's strong enough. So there we go. That's, there's the last 10%. Why couldn't have I had 11% health? Why couldn't have I had just enough health? Um, hmm. He wants to go back into Marowak. I know it. And I don't think... Yeah, I can't really survive anything he wants to do. Then Toxapex. We saw that the Boomerang... The Boomerang did that much, right? Where's that bone ring from way back when? Uh, turn two was bone ring. Yep, that's gonna be enough to KO me. Wait, we just need to outspeed it though, right? Can we? Went wish cash though, okay. Um... Do I need to auto totemize against this thing? It's 240. It might want Dragon Dance. We'll auto totemize. We'll auto totemize. Then we go for like Earthquakes. So yeah, Marowak's is slow, slow. So maybe I should have like tried to think about that a little more. No, did my did my Gengar get outsped? I don't remember what even 
happened all the way back there. When did I bring in my Gengar? I'm, I'm trying to understand how this, how these guys work. So Valley, oh. Yeah, so. Guzzlord, 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 Guzzlord. Toxapex, Gengar. Oh, so, no, I switched in Gengar into the Flare Blitz, right. Because I didn't know what he was going to do. So I knew that the Wish Cash was like anti-dragon something dance. And that's... This is weird. This matchup's weird now. Because I'm out speeding and I'm doing slightly more damage. So I get the three hit KO and he doesn't. And I should be able to wreck everything he has. The Minior won't outspeed me after. Maybe it might. This is a weird game. This is... I'm... I'm still trying to understand, but if I... Uh, he knows the Marowak is his win condition, though. And just gonna outspeed everything, I don't get to stand a chance. I was just kind of hoping he went Marowak, and then my Cell Steel may just, like, cheese Earthquake it, because I'm faster, but I don't think I am. Um, 221 speed, so yeah, and he had, like, a 207 speed max. And we know he's changing up his moves, so he's not Scarfed. I don't know why people decide to take the full time. Ah, this is why I hate Showdown, but I've been too busy making guides and stuff, so I can't play- Like, I don't have real Pokemon in my game. I have- I have my Lunala. That's- that's it. And... Do I want a Heavy Slam? Like, is Heavy Slam still enough damage? Cuz... Should still be enough damage. I feel like you might try to cheese me on a Minior. Get that Minior in for free. Do something like that, or if he's just committing to his wish cash going away. Because that's why I'm just going to throw out a heavy slam. Boom, that could work out pretty well. And maybe something. It's making the video so boring. Come on. I don't have anything else that's going on. Like, I'm. What am I doing right now? Oh, that's right. I'm going for dittos in my 3DS. That's kind of it. I'm gonna do, actually I can do a ditto video today. So I thought this would be a nice quick video. You know, I do a battle for a couple minutes and I can go and upload a video for free. But of course I'm always gonna get timer stalled on the, on on Showdown because those, pe those people here are just absolute, just cretins. The worst people who just go to Pokemon Showdown. Um, so then what we can go is, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about my videos right now. So I, I'm, this video is gonna come out maybe the first video of the day. I'll do a ditto video, and then I'm pulling up my list. I don't even know what else. Oh, okay, that's actually gonna be a pretty cool video. Yeah, the last video for the day might actually surprise you guys and be pretty awesome. Does this does this guy think he loses? Because I mean, my 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 Celesteela is fast. I don't know why I went for that heavy slam. Like if Wishcash survives the heavy slam, I'm gonna feel so terrible. I just think about it like just in case Minior, if I couldn't one shot it, and then he can still do stuff to me. But that's still enough right there. So playing it safe. Oh, I also get the attack boost. So now Minior definitely dies. And there's G Zygarde. So... Yeah, that's enough. And then we get to go hit Minior. Then we go and hit Marowak. And then we're going to be good to go. So yeah, Rock Flying. That means my only option is that Heavy Storm. Or the Heavy Slam. And Minior cannot take it. And then we Earthquake. And then we win. Alright guys, we got it. Wow. We ended up pulling this one out in the end, and there's the forfeit- oh, wait, no. Oh, he DCs! So I have to wait the minute for my win. See, that's what I mean. The worst kind of people that you can expect to find on Pokemon Showdown. Can't even take the loss right there. There we go, guys. Um, 4-0. And I guess I, I'm so attached to Guzzlord because it's this hit point tank stockpiling beauty to me. But it looks like it's not doing much. I mean, just the rest of this core, though, is pretty filthy when you think about it. Like, we have Defense Tank, Special Defense Tank. That's what I was going for. Then the other things. I want to see if Shinotic is actually uh, us usable. And maybe I'll come back and show you guys some things. I'll see how this video does. People like the showdown. I'll do showdown. If not, I'll kind of wait till I get some Pokemon trained and battled up in my game. Actually, with the um, Ultra Beast, that's not going to take too long. I've still got to catch some of those guys, but I have synchronized and I'll be good to go. So if you guys enjoyed the video, hope you all have a nice day. Thank you very much for watching.